As mysteriously as he arrived, he has disappeared again. I have no idea what happened to this chicken. Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft post -phenom. The ridiculous mod pack that has thrown me far into the future post a resource war that managed to completely melt the surface of everything. Last time we went around did a whole load of stuff to do with making this more presentable, making all our crop growing more presentable, so we can see at a glance everything that we've got, have room for further expansion, make everything all nice and sweet. We of course got the soya bean stuff going. But this has left me with an excess of wheat and sugar. An excess of all sorts of things, but wheat and sugar is the one that I can very quickly go around and just grab stuff like this. So I suppose it's not an excess, but a potential excess of wheat and sugar. And with this, I would like to make some hooch. Now, I've already made some when the barrel, the vat thing, was upstairs near the power. But I've decided that maybe we could move this whole setup down here I kind of feel like this is all set up wrong as well. But yeah, maybe we can set, set this up down here. But to do that, I'm going to need to make a combustion generator. Uh, this is the thing in Ender IO that burns just all the random stuff. But this takes a whole load of things to make. Uh, just to show, we have like fluid tanks and this machine chassis. Um, what else we got? And the rest is like pistons and electrical steel and stuff like that. So that's the combustion chamber, but also I have a few other things. You will see by the footage up on my screen right now that I've managed to kill a whole load of gas. In fact, 30 of them. So I'm going to grab this uh, sniper seller's reward and, of course, the extra heart. Whilst we're on that little tip there, should we uh, do the protein meat man again? Because that definitely seems like something we can do. Oh yeah, up to five hearts, loving it. Okay, so the next thing is go and put this combustion generator down. Now I have ever so slightly, uh, let's just have a quick look at my crops. No weeds here, brilliant. I have ever so slightly rearranged the room. I put the presser in the side there. I've moved the sink over here, got rid of one of the furnaces because you know we've got this thing to cook with. And I think that this generator it could go in this wall somewhere. Now, I'm trying to consider whether we want to put it down low or whether we want to pop it up high. What I think I might do is knock out a hole like this. Now, of course, I have a little area back there. Um, we will figure out what to do with it. But I'm going to do that there. And now, I believe I've got an aqueous accumulator on me. I don't believe. I made this aqueous accumulator. Aqueous? Aqueous? I oh, know. I say aqua, as in, like, the Latin word for water. So I'm going to continue saying it is an aqueous uh, accumulator. Let me just flatten off this little area back here. I feel like we could do with just having this being smooth. I'm not sure if we're going to need water flowing anywhere. I don't quite remember how the aqueous accumulator works. It just, yeah, it just starts making water. Okay, wonderful. That is one of the things we want there. I think I'm also going to take away this top one. Yeah, yeah, this this seems good. Okay, let's tidy this up a little. Oh no! Oh wow, 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 wow! This is not what I want. Get out of my face. Uh, I see him back there. I see him back there. Let's get some serious weaponry out. Okay, I forgot how dangerous it was back there. Um, oh man, am I going to die to... No, I'm not going to die to silverfish. Let's run away. We cannot die to silverfish. Oh man, looks like we're going to anyway. Okay, that was all good. Oof. Ooh, that, well, it's not all good. I feel very jittery. Uh, I'm going to have one of these triglycerides, but at the same time, I'm also going to eat this bacon and mushroom burger. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Ooh, slow eating phase. So you hear how the, the the eating noise isn't being done. There seems to be some sort of bug in the pack at the moment. About, oh, well, pack mod. I'm not sure exactly what is causing the trouble, but trouble is being had. Where is he? There we go. All right, all tidy. Hopefully that is now all the silverfish around here. Man, my, my life. Hopefully my health will be going up as we walk around and do things. Now, the next thing I need is obviously the hooch. Now, I've got some over here. Did I pop some in here? No, no, I didn't. Okay, well, so we'll go and grab that. I'm also getting quite warm. That's not quite what I intended to do. Should imagine all this stuff being around has done something about that. So the hooch is in there. 
wonder why it went straight in. It's supposed to be pulling like that, but maybe the uh, combined push from the bottom there did it. There is something else that I need. It is, of course, a liquid duct, and I think I might just get a little bit of a sleep as well. I did not realise it was so late. I try like to try and conserve my ammo. I've already run out of bullets in that uh, machine gun turret we put up, and man, it's like one electrical steel and one iron nugget for per bullet, so that's that's pretty expensive. Okay, I was coming up here for the uh, tubes. Fluid duct should be somewhere. Pressure, pressurized fluid? Let's let's try this. Uh, we're also going to need, of course, some energy conduit, and that is exactly uh, what we're looking to shuffle around. Because, of course, once we've got this in... Uh, hey, don't, don't walk in front of my face. I, I, I don't have the health to face down an Enderman right now. That, that could be all sorts of trouble. So let's do that. Does this work the way I want it to? I hope so. Let's have a look in here. Am I just getting water? I'm not just getting water. So on the back here, we want a pull. Okay, that looks good. Um, and now what can we do about making this just push? Always active. There we go. So now we should be getting a whole load of water in here. Unfortunately, this now means it is rather warm in here, and I was already quite warm. Um, but yeah, whatever. That that is the way of things. So the next thing to do is to try and put down this vat. I'm wondering whether we want to put it exactly next to it. So if we pop this here and pop the vat like so and it kind of looks like a unit what i need to do is put something around it to make it a little more settled in the environment um, but we can definitely get on top of that at some point that that kind of helps um, put some wood down but yeah i'm gonna go chill out like literally chill out try and get my body temperature back down and figure out what the next thing to do is now oh of course sorry just quickly i'm obviously going to run the power down underneath like this and use some of those uh, binder covers to cover this up in the same style as all around. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go find, figure out what it is I'm going to do next. Oh man, was I looking at him? Was I not? The next thing of course is to get this. A water bucket or fire water bucket? Well, I'm definitely going to have the fire water. In fact, that might... Oh look, I'll get both of them. Even better. Okay, let's claim half up. So it turns out I may have been talking a little bit of boulder dash when it came to those bullets. I believe if we do this, what we actually get, oh no, this way round, is a stack of bullets for this one selection here. So I get a full nine and I can get to carry them up. Now I do hear a ghast around, so this could be a high risk job. Oh, we're looking all right so far. I just, I just literally, we can hear gas from so far away that we never actually get to see. Uh, and this should be a full crate of one of these. Brilliant. There he is. Look at that. Let's. No, night, night time's coming. Let's, let's forget about him. Let's go have a sleep because I have a few other things that I want to do. In fact, we might not even need to have a sleep because we're going underground. Oh, of course, we will have a sleep because hey ammo conservation and things like that as the screen fades to black and we wait for our turn uh, you will also notice i've got 18 levels 18 can you remember like back when we kept on dying before we got even close to 10 levels we got 18 today uh so of course i want to use that vibrant crystal but i wish to take my dark leggings off uh and have a look and try and get this okay i'm just literally gonna call them the leggings uh, because, you know, I'm really bad at naming stuff. If anyone has any better ideas for names than what I call things, then please do send your answers on a postcard to the comment section, and we will see what we can do about actually getting something that makes sense. Okay, so now for something that actually applies to the questing book. I think it might be time that we got on with our basic tech here. Not the basic, the advanced tech. I do apologise for calling out the wrong thing. Um, the Slice and Spice is what I want to go for because this is like the main machine uh, that is required to get Ender IO working. Um, so I am going to get this going. This is so we can start adding bits to people's heads and things like that. You can see, oh no, I was looking it up, but then I had some downtime and I was wondering about how I could make extra clay. But here, we can make this. Now this solarium stuff seems a little bit weird, but it is literally just gold and soul sand. Thankfully, I have a little pit that I can go and get soul sand from. Now, I'm not sure how many we need, but I'm going to go for... I didn't want to quite go for that many. Half a stack. 
Okay, brilliant. And then I just need a half a stack of gold, which I should have an excess of gold in here. Now, I don't know if we can do blocks. Uh, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Ah, I'm making uh, glass over here. Uh, of course, with the pulverizer pumping out sand, we can make glass like no one's business. And this should just work like this. Yes, there we go. It is burning away. So, this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to quickly tidy up my inventory and I will be back after a little cut. So he has come wandering over and I think this seems like a brilliant time to take him out. Awesome, we should have some XP over there. Let's go and have a look because those XPs are what we are all after now. I really do want to be able to upgrade like my boots or my helmet or something. I'm not sure exactly which one would take precedent here. Uh, probably my helmet, I, I don't know, who knows. All right, well let's go down and have a look and see how the alloy smelter is getting on. In the downtime, I made myself an ax and a set of shears. Uh, so we should be able to get on with what we need to do. Six is good enough. Brilliant. We also need one head now. We have several heads uh, lying around in my museum of heads over here. I've been keeping them all because I had a feeling I would probably need them at some point. I think I'm going to go for this zombie right here. He seems a little bit out of place. Thank you. All right, we've got everything. Let's get over to our crafting bench and make this a reality. Now, I think it should be... Aha! Ah, one thing I was missing. Now, in this box, I've made myself a load of machine chassis because it takes a, it's a two, two craft process to get up to here. So I thought whilst I was making one, I might as well make a whole bunch of them. Uh, and it turns out that's a good idea because I... No, I'm not allowed to just click it into place. Okay, that's fine. Uh, which way round do these go? Shears on the right, axe on the left. I wonder if it's... No, I do have the right number of ingots. They obviously just don't want to do that. Brilliant. Slice and spice. Now, what's this all about? I honestly don't know. I've not played around with it enough to even have the foggiest. I've got to put some tools in there, and I believe a head goes somewhere, and we uh, install a whole load of other stuff. But I think the first thing I want to do is knock this out, because this is a, as you can see at the back there, uh, charge-carrying block. So hopefully in here I have some more energy conduit. Wonderful. I'm also going to take one of these out and set that up for cooking or well, cooking painting what whatever the uh, adjective is that actually is going on here so that can go there like that we'll wait for the cover to happen and I'm just gonna have a little quick drink while we're in the process lots of heat in this corner over here I'm having a hard time keeping my temperature down I'm sure there is an item somewhere that enables me enables me to walk around with like an ice pack or something but I have not found that so far so we're gonna have to just make do with what we have Okay, let's put the cover in place and put this here. Should start to get power. Wonderful. Now, what are we going to do with this? I don't actually know, but I think the first thing we're going to do is claim a reward. I'm going to claim the half heart because I have full ranges all, all of that. Maybe somewhere over here. I've got to figure out where we're going to keep the solarium, actually. Probably in here. This is where I kind of all my ingots go. Oh, I'm out of gold block now. I'm going to have to change that. We have, oh, many half hearts. Oh, we should have done this maybe a little while ago, but... Boom! Six lives! Six lives. How many more could we possibly need? Uh, just so many more, actually. Do I have the baked beans on me? I do not. Okay, so I was eating baked beans a lot recently, so maybe what we actually want to go... Yeah, let's, let's go for these rice cakes. I can, I can eat like three or four of these before it really becomes a hassle. Uh, I think I'll go for two and a triglyceride, actually. Um, next thing's on. I don't know. We're going to find out what that slice and Wow. Okay, maybe, maybe this is all the stuff. Um, uh, another thing that I did actually want to do was this. I need to make the travel anchors. Now, I don't really have a massive amount of use for travel anchors. Maybe from getting here in the kitchen up to the bees. That might be that might be somewhere that I put the travel anchor. Yeah, okay, let, let's do it like that. Let's let's have a look. Of course, right at the front here, travel anchor. Now we need a pulsating crystal. Oh wow. <clears throat> Takes a diamond and many pulsating iron nuggets. Now, do we have diamonds? I am not. Ooh, we have a diamond. Maybe what I want to do is empty out some of these carbons. I don't know, let's get a random number. I'm not sure what I need it to be divisible by. I just know that what we need to do if I come in here with the uses. There we go. The carbon nanotubes. That's four stacks here. And once you've got the carbon nanotubes down, you can actually put them together. Oh man, we're going to have to search through all this again. Look at this. All these will make a block of diamond, but we're not after a block of diamond. Just a single diamond. Three sets of carbon nanotubes, which is a lot. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stacks should make three du du uh, carbon nanotubes, which will eventually turn into a diamond. Okay, and finally, with the sweat dripping down my face, we're going to clear all this off. We're going to put a three in the middle, pop these all in there, and we've got ourselves three diamonds. Okay, yeah, nice. We need some of these endo, um, endo pearls, of course. I'm going to get all the diamonds out. I think actually we only need two of them, so we can make one up here and one down below now how do we make the pulsating iron nugget it is of course going to be if we have a look in here an iron nugget and an ender pearl now we only need the eight for the outside we need that twice so i think what we're going to need to do is do two uh two iron nuggets with two ender pearls that's going to give us a few pulsating nuggets over but i think we can deal with that what what are you making get get out of here that's nice but we need some more of this oh man this is going to take forever all right two pulsating iron later i think we're going to turn these into nuggets like this and hopefully in this crafting bench unless anything goes hideously wrong okay we can make two of those that's pretty sweet now what do we need the eight i was going to say four but obviously we're making two so eight conduit binder and for uh, an eight also iron now i just happen to have almost all of that here actually oh no Oh no, well we know how to fix that, we just pop that in there like that and hopefully it will cook through. We don't actually want all of that going of course. It's so hot, so very hot, I'm dripping sweat everywhere, it's just all a little bit too much. I just need this to top up though, uh, that was more than I was expecting. It's all good though because now we get to do that, get two of these and go, oh yeah, interdimensional travel is ours, or at least the secret of so. Uh, let's get up here and have a look. Now, I'm blatantly going to have these vibrant crystals. They're the hardest thing to get hold of, I think. I mean, the other half heart would give us an extra heart, but I am willing to accept this. Brilliant. Okay, with that, I'm going to put some stuff away, try and make myself all presentable, and then figure out how these are going to work. Well, let's go and figure out how these are going to work now. I've got a feeling with the first place we want to put this is probably inside our little bee shed. That kind of sits well for me. Also, whilst we're here... You can barely notice it, but look, there's a fruit there that's not up there. So this leaf needs harvesting, this leaf needs harvesting. There's a lot of leaves around that needs harvesting, but we're, we're not going to do that right now. That was more just a, hey, look at this. Oh, well, we've lost a bit of dirt. That, that is the way of things. Um, this standing on here will do nothing so far. All right, let's get down under to the kitchen. I think the kitchen is probably going to make the ideal landing spot. Hmm, in fact, looking around here, I think I might take this one out. Yeah, and then we could just like turn up into the door. Now, if I remember correctly, we. No, is it. Do they need power? Is this a thing? Public, protected. Uh, I'm going to call this one kitchen was a name needed to make it work i don't know what goes in there i've not used these before i don't know if you guys have noticed this um okay so this one's labeled let's go see if we can label the other one of course this one is bees wonderful yeah it's labeled it's nice but still not helping okay obviously i need something else probably power to make this work and it doesn't appear to have a power bar uh whatever it is that i need to make this work i definitely Let's get rid of that. I will definitely need to go and have a check on the internet. I would have thought it would have been as simple as that, though. Aww. So it turns out the problem was actually one of distance. I've moved it over here and boom, straight over to the bees, back to the crops and back over to the bees just to make sure it does actually work. Now, whilst we're over here, we did happen to spot that there were a few, uh, few of these leaves that need harvesting. Now, hopefully... Uh, that's a silver line. We're not after that. We are, of course, after the hill cherry. Maybe this will give it to us. No, that is the larch, the mundane larch. Most annoying because, of course, the hill cherry is the one we're after. This was achieved through the breeding of this silver lime. Oh, it's really not going to do it, is it? And one of these two over here. Maybe... Was that a... Was that a fairly sure I saw some fruit somewhere for a second there when I jumped over here. Ah, there it is. I knew I saw it somewhere. Now, that's also a silver uh, a mundane larch. Oh, well, this is no good. Uh, okay, I'm going to go around and just pick a few more bits off of this. We are, of course... Uh, looking to expand the quest book. Uh, how about this one over here? Oh, there we go. We got it. Finally got it. This this is the thing we've been trying to do for like ever. Uh, so if we come into life rebooted, we can actually see that we've got... Oh, we need a cherry. 
Ah, always the way. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is rip down uh, this one here. Did I bring a an axe with me? I did not. I might have one over here, though. Uh, of course, I forget, like, all the important equipment. But, wow, that is a little bit loud. Let's turn that down just a bit. And then we should be able to go around and put down this hill cherry. Now, I don't have any bone mill on me, but you guys will just have to take my word that that will get grown. Uh, what else are we going to do? Well, let's come over... Well, let's just throw that away. That's totally useless to us. Come over here. Now, I would like to make the next bit inside this quest book. Now, you would have seen it when it was up. Uh, I do indeed want to go for this zombie generator. Now, the important part here, apart from um, making sure that we've got the right tools in the right place, let me go and get some wood and stuff. This is necessary for what we are doing doing. Uh, I suppose I did actually already get some wood, but meh, whatever. Uh, I didn't put those saplings away, so that might make this very difficult. But the first thing I'm going to do is make a small iron axe, and the second is a set of shears. That is, of course, because we need to power this slice and spice over here. Now, I think we can just do that. <laughs> so we're working on this zombie generator. We need this zombie electrode, which is a zombie head... Um, Elect uh, energetic alloy, which we should have, and some silicon, again, which we should have, as well as one of those industrial capacitors. So, one of these. Now, do I have energetic alloy? I do, so we want two of those. I need a zombie head. This one will do for now. I'm sure I will replace it very soon, maybe with that one over there. Let's begin getting these all lined up so we can see what we're missing. Of course, the silicon billet, which I think we are able to get out of here. If I take half this sand here and pop it in there, it should just take the smallest amount of time to make two of these. In fact, now that I give some thought, I had a few down here. But oh well, we, we now know what's going on. This should come across here, and hopefully the progress is building its way up. Hopefully it will get here before I actually boil in my own skin. If we have a look down here, oh, in fact, we can't look very neatly down there, uh, the temperature is right rising very strongly but there we go zombie electrode awesome we then need a whole load of glass i believe it was i think that that's the one let's double check here shall we how did i do that oh well, i'll put it back now uh electrical steel and fused quartz specifically fused quartz which i believe is this one down the bottom here Okay, all, all is going well. Let's pop these over here so they're just a little bit out of my way and have a look for the electrical alloy that I uh, keep just kicking around. And hopefully, with a minimum of fuss, we should be able to get this all good. Okay, nice. Now, this stuff... Uh, this was more just for the quest than anything else because the zombie not, um, zombie solution that would run it I've been keeping back here. Um, I don't have a use for it at the moment. I don't need an extra bit of power, so I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with it. Is it this hot or cold back here? It's cold. Right, we're going to hang out here whilst I select some stuff. Now, the nether wart would have been great, but this seems like a good time to get the half heart because I have nether wart downstairs. I have rotten flesh in abundance. We're going to get some more nutrient distillation. <laughs> Awesome, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this series of adventures. I will see you next time. Well, I actually have a little bit of an issue. Uh, in fact, I will I will point this out quickly now. You can see on my um, map on the top right that there is a bad guy over there, and if he's not above ground, he's a perfect little indicator. Yeah, so you can see this. Um, this pumpkin here is there to remind me that there is a cave directly underneath me where people like to hang out so I would like to get in there and crack that open in fact should we should we have a quick look now before before we wrap up properly I should be able to get through here because I believe we've got some nicely um, upgraded stuff now I'm not sure exactly where they are because I only put the the pumpkin down on top of someone's head when they had spawned a group of skeletons actually um, but maybe if we're really good we can cut a little stairway there we go down to there now we could just dive in should we do it we've got all our equipment I know it's scary it's scary there's a creeper down there maybe we can catch him maybe not Reload. Okay, we got him with that. I'm gonna. Oh, hello. Are you out of my way? Okay, so this place was a place that kept on getting me some trouble, and I can see where they are spawning now. But with that, I will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're gonna. Well, I was going to try and do the um, call your jets, but unfortunately, if we actually have a quick look in the jet 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, this this recipe. Uh, it requires leather straps, quite a lot of leather straps, and I only have found two bits of leather. Uh, well, no, I found like three or four bits of leather, but I only have two left at this point in the game, and that's not really enough for what we need it for. So I'm going to have to try and find leather before we can do that. But I am going to say bye bye and thank you very much for joining me. Whoa, it's a wobbly screen.